If you're in the market for a small, fast Android TV box, then the Tangula Smart Media Box might be the one for you. I'm actually quite surprised how much they've packed into this tiny unit. You're getting a Zippy Android TV box with a 64 megabit quad core CPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM, so no problems opening up multiple apps or multiple tabs in a browser, and a whopping 128 gigabytes internal storage, so you can install tons of apps. And if that wasn't enough, on top of that, you get their built in Android TV service. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. Now if the box is anything to go by, we're in for a treat. And off the bat, I'm going to say this is one of the most smallest Android TV smart boxes I've ever seen. In fact, you'll see later it's even smaller than its remote control. We also get a user guide, which importantly is in colour, an Android TV user manual, a HDMI cable, a power brick which is rated at 5 volts 2 amps and lastly we get the super useful remote control with all the usual features you get on these box remote controls. Ok so that was a quick look at what you get in the box. Let's take a closer look at the X5 TV box. Nice big and bold branding. On the back we've got an ethernet port for those faster internet connections, headphone port, HDMI and we've got optical output for connecting things like Sandboss. Now in this corner we've got two USB ports, one USB 2 and one USB 3 and we've got a card reader port which supports up to 64 gigabytes. Along the bottom we've got some air vents for cooling. So yeah, this is a small, compact, smart TV unit. One of the smallest I've seen so far. So let's boot it up. So that's probably one of the most impressive boot ups I've seen. And we're greeted with a familiar Android TV screen. We've got our Google Play Store. You just need to sign in with your Google account. We've got the YouTube app pre-installed and technically we should easily be able to play a 4K video and sure enough it looks like we've got 4K here and let's double check that by going into the settings and yeah it's 4K alright and I've got to say it's running pretty smooth and even when you're skipping through the video there's no stuttering or lagging the quad-core processor handles it with ease. Okay back on the home screen we've got a file manager and you know what you do with a file manager you manage your files. We've also got quick access to our applications on the home screen and the box comes pre-installed with all these applications. You've got your Netflix, Disney Plus, Movie Player and you get the Tang TV which is probably one of the main reasons you're buying this box and more about that later in the video. Now we've also got the KODI Media Center installed and we've got the Mozilla browser for your internet browsing and again I was pleasantly surprised at how well this box handles the internet browsing. Again no shortage of speed and zippiness now another cool little feature we get with this box is the ability to change your wallpaper. You can select from the default ones or you can choose your own. Needless to say I stuck with the default. Now the last thumbnail on the home screen is the settings tab and there's some pretty cool things you can set up here. It is of course your basic Android settings menu with some bells and whistles added on. And if we head on over to device preferences we can see what version of Android we're on and of course we can see here we're on Android 11. And under storage we can see we've got a massive 128GB ROM and 4GB RAM. Now there are some cool things you can set up on the home screen and these are accessed on more settings. So the first thing you can do is unhide the system bar and the really cool thing is you can add hardware monitors on top of your home screen. You can choose to show your network usage, show IP address, show MAC address, show CPU temperature, show the CPU frequency, show the CPU load and show information even about the load RAM. And lastly, show your display mode. And as you can see, we're running at 2160p at 60Hz. Ok, back on the home screen, another cool thing we can do is add favourites to the home screen. Just click on the plus button here, and you'll be taken to the apps folder, where you can choose which apps to add to your home screen. Now if you do find the box running a bit slow, you can quickly clear up the processes running on it by clicking on the brush icon on the top of the home screen. And what you'll get is a message telling you that you've ended so many processes. So one of the main features of this box is the Tang TV that comes preloaded on it. And it is the main reason that this box is priced at such a premium price. As you are getting a lifetime supply of entertainment at a one-off price. So diving into the app, this is the home screen. And from here you've got access to your TV, movies and TV shows. So let's take a quick look at the TV section. And on the top you can see you've got all your channels. And below that it's all split up into different categories. And you simply scroll down and select the category and then scroll across and select the channel you want to watch. And as you can see guys there's tons of categories to choose from which makes it all the easier to find what you're looking for. 
and it's a similar setup with the movie section. Total number at the top, your categories at the bottom, and you just select going to the right. Again with series, it's more of the same. Total number of series at the top, categories at the bottom, and you select by going to the right. And once you're in a particular series section, you'll find all the series and episodes. So guys, is the Tangula Android X5 TV box a good buy? Now for some people, the initial price is gonna be a big no-no, but that's gonna get recouped the longer you keep the box. The answer is gonna be different for everyone. In my case, it's a great buy, because what you're getting for one price is a world of entertainment, including access to the Google Android environment. There's no complicated setup procedures. You just switch on the box and you're ready to go. So even if you're not technically minded, you're gonna be able to use this Android TV box straight out of the box. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. And you may enjoy one of my other videos in the thumbnail above.